She'll go over and hug Wendy Bruce. Well, they certainly challenged each other right to the finish. As I mentioned, Kevin Brown does such a good job in terms of conditioning. That's why these girls are so powerful. If anything, they overdo elements. Full in pike, and look at she way over rotates, but she's so strong she controls it. And the crowd is roaring. They heard the 9.90 announced. As we watch her replay of her second run, whip, whip, through to tuck double back, right on top. And of course, very few people in the world can finish with a tuck double back this high and this easy. Look at that. No problem as she drops off the ceiling. And Brandy Johnson's 9.9 .9 will help her establish a new record for all around totals. We'll be back with more in just a moment. We still have Lisa Panzeroni on floor, plus we have to recap all of the numbers. Stay with us here in Denver, Colorado. Tony has yet to complete her floor exercise performance. We are going to watch that now. Again, Brandy Johnson received a 9.9 .9 on the floor. Wendy Bruce, 9.65. Here comes Panzeroni, the powerhouse. She opened in the preliminary rounds with a 9.75. She had trouble in the semis. She only got a 9.125. She had trouble with her opening run, which is going to be a full in pike. Let's see if she can make it today. She went out of bounds. I don't think she did. The judge raised her flag, but I'm right on the line of that Florex mat. Her toe was in bounds. Her heel, without going out of bounds, did cross the plane, but that's not out of bounds. I think she's going to get, unfortunately, penalized. Let's see if we can note that when we see the replay on the last pass. But this is her first pass. This is the full in, which she had trouble in the earlier round. But boy, full in, Pike. Boom. That's how you do it. Wow, it's over. Her second tumbling run was a roundup back handspring whip back right there, and then to a back handspring to a tuck double. Perfect lift. Look at the form. Knees together, toes pointed. That's kind of a moot point, but let's watch her foot. She does a tuck double back here. It's going to be hard to see from this angle whether she went out of bounds or not, but notice the knees together, toes pointed in that tuck double. See, her heel doesn't touch the ground. That was the point I was making. When she points her toe behind her, the toe was on the blue part of the carpet and where it's supposed to be. The heel did cross the plane, but that's not out of bounds. Now, like I said, it's a moot point. The score for Lisa Panzeroni, 9.625. We'll be back with a recap of the all-around totals and some final thoughts and an interview. Stay with us. finished first, followed by Wendy Bruce, and this is Lisa Panzeroni. She was just announced by our public address announcer, Jan Clare, as our bronze medalist. Lisa Panzeroni's all-around score was 37.70.
38.85. From Browns Gymnastics of Altamonte Springs, Florida, Wendy Bruce. Wendy Bruce and Lisa Panzeroni were both presented with a bouquet of flowers and a plaque commemorating the 1989 U.S. The Challenge. For the champion of the U.S. Challenge, the women's technical director of this competition and superior judge for women, from Conifer, Colorado, Sharon Weber. Our champion took the lead by just 35 hundredths of a point. From Browns Gymnastics of Altamonte Springs, Florida, scoring 39.50, Brandy Johnson. Brandy Johnson's margin of victory was .65 and establishes an all-around meet record. She actually beat her own record from round one, 39.5, her all-around total. By the way, Brandy Johnson, with that all-around score, has bested her own record set last evening. When she scored 39.475, tonight 39.5. So our congratulations to, to Brandy Johnson, our all-around champion. Ladies Again, her final score, 39.50. Wendy Bruce finishing second. Lisa Panzeroni finishes third. There you see the final numbers. Again, Brandy Johnson's total is a meet record for the U.S. Challenge. Right now, let's go to Bart Connor. He's with Brandy's coach and Brandy Johnson herself. Brandy, all weekend, you just seem to get better and better. Every routine better. You set records and everything, including the all-around. Your confidence just seems to be soaring. Well, I was very well prepared for this meet, and all I knew I had to do was just to hit my routines, and that's what I did. Kevin, you have to be proud of your star pupil here. I notice she's so powerful. Do you spend a lot of time working on conditioning and power exercises? Bart, there's not a day that we miss conditioning. Brandy's always conditioning hard. As a matter of fact, sometimes we're conditioning twice a day. And that's what really leads up to, to her power. And also, she's got a lot of natural spring already. So, it, you know, it all turns out, uh, gives her that extra power that she needs out there on the floor. Your coach's perspective on her performance here? Well, Bart, I, I was just... just uh, you know, going from one day to the next. She went three days in a row hitting four events every day, breaking records from one day to the next in this meet. So I'm just, uh, you know, more than pleased and looking forward to what's going to happen from here. What is going to happen from here? I guess there's a pretty hot international season coming up. Yeah, it's real hot, Bart, and uh, Worlds are just right around the corner in Stuttgart, and uh, Brandy's got her goals set to be world champion, and we're working towards that, and I'm looking forward to it. World champion, of course, this is a major international field when you go to Stuttgart. You got the top Soviets and the top Romanians. Is that going to be an added pressure? A little bit, but once I work on my compulsories and hit my routines, I don't think it could be a problem. Well, you have a fine future. Kevin, congratulations. Brandy, congratulations. Thank you, Thank you Bart. Leandra? Once again, to recap her scoring, she received two 99s, one 98.75, and one 98.25. Pretty lofty scores for a young lady. We'll be back with a recap. Hi, I'm Bob Vila. You may have seen my home improvement program on TV. I Tidy Bowl. <laughs> The last blank space in our bracket has been completed. We began with 12 gymnasts in the first round. Six advanced to the semifinals. Of that, three moved on to the championship round. You saw them here tonight, and it was Brandy Johnson who fills the final slot. She is our 1989 U.S. Challenge. Wendy Bruce finishing second. Lisa Panzeroni finishing in third place. And it was a very, very difficult matchup. And overall, Bart, your impression first on the women's senior national team. How does it look overall now that you've seen all these gymnasts? Well, they're heading of course into the world championships this fall in Stuttgart West Germany coming off sort of a bittersweet defeat back in Seoul where the US team was defeated 
from the bronze medal by just a technicality. It was an unfortunate situation. But this was very encouraging when you think about the U.S. program. Although this was just an optional exercise competition, they'll be tested on the compulsories when they get to the World Championships. There's some really exciting performers on the U.S. team. Anytime a gymnast can get in front of a judge, it is always a valuable experience, not only because they have to perform well, but it also leaves a good impression in the judge's mind. Overall, with this type of format, this type of meet, what do you think our gymnasts learned? I like this format, and I think the gymnasts like this format because it really tests their consistency and their conditioning. Brandy, of course, was just awesome. Every day getting a little bit better. She was strong. She was confident. And I know she'll take this confidence and carry it into the international events. Let's talk about conditioning just a little bit. We are a mile above sea level. This is called Mile High City. And I think stamina played a big factor in it, not only in your physical conditioning, but your mental ability to focus and stay concentrated. We asked a lot of these ladies. Well, in fact, when we talked with Kevin Brown, he was telling us about how much he emphasizes conditioning and training and really working these girls hard so that they're powerful, in fact, almost too powerful. For Wendy Bruce is very exciting to watch, as is Brandy Johnson, and they carry that power, which will, when they go to an international event, they're going to need that kind of dynamic power to really stand out against the top Romanians and Soviets. You know, I said that Brandy Johnson had a couple of 9 nines, and the other scores were 9-8 and above. Is there any place that she can improve? Well, she looks so strong right now. I think she has all the qualities to be a really great international gymnast. As I mentioned earlier, though, she's going to have to have polish in the compulsory exercises, which will carry over into the other rounds in the World Championship if she's going to hope to medal. All right, so you think the difficulty is there. Certainly the pizzazz and the consistency is there. No question. All right, if you're not familiar with compulsory competition, that is where all the gymnasts perform the same routines, and that has always been a weak point for the USA. All right, thank you, Bart Connor. It's been a pleasure working with you, and congratulations to our men. They certainly did a fine job. The championship has been concluded for them. Lance Ringnald, in case you missed it, was our men's champion. But this day, the spotlight belongs on the women, where Brandy Johnson, with an all-around total of 39.5, and that is a meet record, is our 1989 U.S. Challenge winner. For Bart Connor, I'm Leander Riley. On behalf of our crew here in Denver, Colorado, so long, everyone. Hope to see you next year. Circus Circus returns.